Hello, it is day two of our reindeer life cycle fun facts packet, I guess I'm going to call it. Um, so we have some stuff to fill out today. We need to fill out what reindeers eat under his mouth here. And I'm actually going to fold mine a little bit so that way I can write. It says draw the reindeer's diet. That just is a fancy word for food. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to push it all the way back into his eyes. I'm just trying to crease it so I can keep it open. And I glued it yesterday and left it alone. So it's actually going to stay there really good. I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of idea what a reindeer eats. I mean, I have a hunch, but I don't know for sure. So I'm not filling any of that out yet. We already filled in the life cycle yesterday. So I'm going to fold these pages up. So I need to do five facts about reindeer and describe the reindeer habitat. So those are my three jobs today. Now we read the Scholastic News on Monday, but that was two days ago. And actually I just pulled that up before I started this video. And I went, you know what? It really talked about adaptations. It really didn't give us much information about what the reindeer eats or its habitat. So I have a two minute video I'm gonna show you. I just finished watching it and I made some notes for myself and I had to write really fast. So you might have to pause during the video or watch the video and then rewatch it again. And you'll have to rewind this video. But I got some sticky notes out and I wrote my facts down. I wrote down what they ate, where they lived. And then I wrote one, two, I wrote three facts that I thought were interesting. And when I watch it with you right now, I need to find two more because it says list five facts about reindeer or I can remember the scholastic news that we read on Monday and think of some adaptations about reindeers, some facts about reindeers and write those down. So let's watch the video. If you need to rewatch it, that's okay. If you need to make notes like I did, that's okay. And then I'm gonna take these notes and I'm gonna put them inside my reindeer. So here we go. Screen chair, here we are. Reindeer. Reindeer live in the northern regions of Europe, North America, Asia, and Greenland. Anywhere with a tundra. A tundra is a flat Arctic region with very little trees. In Europe, reindeer are always called reindeer, but in America they have different names. In the wild, they're called caribou, and when domesticated, they're called reindeer. Reindeer are herbivores, meaning they eat only plants. When snow begins to fall, they'll move south where they can find plants easier. Reindeer have large hooves, which help them dig for food. Their favorite food is lichen, which is a type of moss. Reindeer can live 15 years in the wild. A reindeer's antlers can be up to three feet tall. And like human fingerprints, no two sets of antlers are exactly alike. When their antlers start growing, they're actually soft and rubbery. Once the antlers finish growing, then they get hard. Reindeer can run up to 50 miles per hour. Reindeer's ankles make a clicking sound when they walk, which makes it easy for reindeer families to stick together. Reindeer are probably most well known for being Santa's companions. Rumor has it they pull Santa's sleigh. Reindeer are awesome. What's your favorite thing about reindeer? Okay, so if you need to rewatch that, go ahead and do it. If not, I'm going to make a list up here. I'm going to get rid of those four tens and 12 ones. Okay, so I'm going to start with food. 
I hope you can think about what the video said about what kind of food they ate. So take a second, see if you can remember what kind of food the reindeer eats. It said grass, plants, and then that special word called lichen, which is a type of moss. And you know what moss is, maybe just not with that word. It's that green squishy stuff that you can find on trees and rocks and on the road, especially at this time of year. So we've got lichen or moss, plants, and grass. Huh, they don't eat any meat, so they're a herbivore. They only eat plants. Okay, the next thing we needed to do was figure out their habitat. Where do they live? Hmm, do you remember it was at the beginning of the video? They lived in three different spots. They lived in the northern, which means the top part of Europe. North America, which is where we live. And Greenland. I had to check my sticky note because I couldn't remember. I thought maybe they said Norway, but it was Greenland. And they also mentioned that uh, reindeer only live in the tundra and a tundra is a specific location where there are little or no trees. Okay, so they live in the tundra. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill in food and habitat on our reindeer. So I'm gonna open his mouth. I'm gonna write some of these words in here. They do not need to be in complete sentences. I'm just going to write lichen, moss, plants, and grass. Do that now. They should be spelled right, right? Because I, I wrote them right there for you. So lichen or moss, plants, grass. You could write it in green. That would be cool if you wanted to. I just wrote mine in pencil. Okay, pause the video now if you need a little extra time writing food down. And then I'm gonna go to the habitat page. It says, describe the reindeer's habitat. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna write incomplete sentences explaining these things. So I might write, they live in Europe, North America, Greenland, and then they live where there are no trees called the tundra. So I'm gonna write a couple of those sentences too. Go ahead and do that now. Pause the video if I start back up before you. They live in Europe, North America, Greenland. And then I'm gonna write, they live where there's no trees. They live where there are no trees, comma, called the tundra. Okay, pause the video because I know that that's probably gonna take you a little bit extra time. Okay, on the last page, it says list five facts about reindeer. I'm hoping that you either could remember five facts, either from the video or the Scholastic News. Okay, if you can't remember five facts, then you need to go back and watch the beginning of this video where I shared the reindeer video. Here are the five facts that I have. I'm going to write who they live 15 years, their antlers are three feet tall, 
um, their antlers are like a fingerprint. I'm not going to tell you my other two facts. You know why? Because I want you to come up with two facts on your own if you're using mine. So go ahead and write your five facts down. I'm going to do it with you. Pause the video or rewind the video if you need to come up with more facts. Looking for my other sticky note. Okay, I forgot about this yesterday. So if I have a reindeer like this and doesn't have any antlers, then it's a cow, right? It's a, it's a female reindeer. So I was thinking if I wanted to, or if you wanted to, you could find that brown piece of paper again. I should have said this yesterday. You could glue it on down a little lower and then make antlers. I didn't think of that yesterday. So I'm sorry if you already glued it on. You could also maybe find another piece of paper if you have paper at home and you could put it on top and glue these two pages together, the brown one and whatever you have at home. And then you could still make antlers. You'd have to be creative. You could draw them. You could use pipe cleaners or noodles or cotton balls or q-tips you guys have those 10 q-tips i had kids in my class today asking about why do we have those q-tips in our bags and i said well, we had a project idea ready for that and then we never did it so you could use those as antlers so if you want to make your reindeer a bull a male a male reindeer you could glue this on and make antlers on it okay the rest of the time today is just going to be finishing up the writing if you aren't done um, and then you get to color your reindeer. So you can color them however you want. But after this, steam is done for today. And I can't wait to see your reindeers tomorrow. So have a great afternoon. Bye, guys.